from the beginning. How much are you up in the train at the high of the option chain this morning? Uh, I don't know what it was first thing this morning, but at the moment I'm up 805. I was up 1100 a few minutes ago. Okay. Without getting, first of all, you should know where you're getting out of this before you take it. And if you did add yesterday, which I told you to do, so look, you made it a better trade. That was good advice. I'm glad you did it. But either way, when you did that, you should have know where am I going to get out of this. So next well, time, decide where you're going to get out, either a well, price point or money or something. Yes, well, the target is the, normally the, the uh, strike price, isn't it? Yes, so what was the high today? I'm just looking at this now very, very quickly. It got to 264.41. It, ha it, it hasn't hit high. It's, it's hit 264.41. That's pretty close, though. That's pretty close. I mean, you didn't need to, I mean, don't need me to tell you that's pretty darn close. It's close. Well, it's not, it's not 265, is it? I mean, it's 40. No, but it's close. <laughs> I mean, it's 60 cents. If you want to be particular, 59 cents away. That's And when a stock is worth 264 or something in the change in the price, it's 15, 59 cents is negligible. The fact is you didn't get out of it. Now, I'm going to ask you a question here. What if this continues up to the next level and up over the high? Today and tomorrow, what are you going to make? What, what's the maximum you think you could make in this? Let's look at that before you decide. Because you're up $800. So stop panicking. Yeah, it's so funny because I mentioned this in the class over the weekend. I said, I have a trader that panics when he's up. You are the only person that I know that panics when they're up. Money! You literally panic. And then invariably, you never make the right decision because in the moment you're up, you panic. You're panicking right now. You're up $800. You'd be happy. This trade isn't going to get away from you today. So relax. Whether you take it out with 800, 900, 1,000, 725, you're up, and this trade is not going to go away from you today. So relax, don't panic. Now, look and see if you wanna if you wanna swing for the fences, even though you were gonna kill this immediately, and I told you to add to it and try to hold it a little bit longer. That was good advice. If you hold it tomorrow, and I'm not saying you do, but let's just look. What would you be up? What do you think you'd be up if it got up to the high, which was if it got up to 266? If it got up to 266, what would you be up? How well, many... it's, it's hard to put a figure on it because last night, this option, it was virtually um, it was virtually break even. Right. But then it fell, up, it fell back just at the close. And that's when I added when it fell back. Right. Uh, but, I mean, so it's hard, to put a, it's hard to put a figure on it, Melissa, because it's so volatile. It's no, it's because, don't you understand? Here, I'm going to look up and estimate what I think it's going to be worth. Don't you understand that the reason that it's worth more today, and remember, it's the 265s that expire Friday. Today's only Wednesday. The reason it's worth so much more today is all of a sudden now people are saying, holy crap, it is going to get to 265 by Friday. People play options for a day. People play options for two days. People play options out. People just bought this today. Don't you understand? That's why now you uh, have this move. So people yeah, are saying, oh, it uh, looks like it is going to get there. And so now you've got the now you've got the interest. So it's not it's not a surprise. Every time it looks like it's going to get closer to the number or through the number, people are there's more interest in it. It's gonna it's gonna run up. That creates the volatility. So you're worried about time, and I'm saying, wait a minute, it's gonna you're gonna get this is gonna go. That's why I said to you yesterday, you did a good thing adding. Now I'm just trying to look at this here. <sighs> I mean, I have the, yeah, I have the um, cheaper ones, obviously, which is why I got quantity. That's okay. 264 is where it's approximately at now. Yes. There's a two six. I think this would be worth about, and again, I'm figuring in time, like 50 cents more at the high. And I'm, I'm just being very conservative here. So what would that mean for your profit? This is an estimate. Um, 50 cents more. Uh, what did I pay? Uh, I paid 30 cents is my average. No, 50 cents more from where it was at the high this morning. Oh, right. Well, it must have been, it was about 11, if you say 1100, I was up. No, what was the cost of the option? What was the, what was the, the bid ask you're in this? What was the high of that this morning for you to mm. exit? What was the exit? Here, I'll look at that. What was the exit of the high? What was the exit of the high this morning, the option train? You got, you yeah, that, that's just the problem. I don't know how I can, I don't think mine displays the the option high price. All, all I have it listed in my option list is bid, midpoint and ask. Okay, well then what was the, what was the midway? Give me, give me then the bid ask at the high. <laughs> well, I mean, it must have been, it must have been nearly, 
forty eight probably i mean looking at this now i mean it's sitting there at forty three is the mid ok hold on how many contracts do you have in this i'll figure it out sixty sixty contracts wow you have six thousand shares yep ok so you're up eleven hundred i'm up six hundred and eighty five now ok so what did you pay again twenty i average is thirty oh thirty You seem quite confident this isn't going to pull back. No, I, I mean, mean, I'm telling you that this is not... I'm telling you, if you want to exit this today still at the high of the options chain, it's going to come around again. You'll have a chance today to do it. It's only 10, 15 in the morning. This trade isn't going to reverse today. That's why I'm saying relax. If you if you had gotten out before we got on the mic, I wouldn't have had a problem with that. That would have been a good trade, $1,100. I wouldn't have a problem with you getting on here. I'm just saying that, first of all, going forward, you need to know where you're going to get out of the trade before before it gets to some number, then you panic. That uh, You need well, to get rid of the panic. Stop the panic. Well, I mean, I'm looking at the chart. I'm looking at the weekly chart. I mean, it stands out a mile. We have no resistance on the weekly chart until that major high. Um, and if same, if you knock it down to the to daily, it, there's nothing. There's nothing stopping it. Okay, let's see if this was worth a buck. Fifty cents more than it was at the high today. Minus your price, which was thirty cents. Seventy cents times six thousand shares, you would make forty two hundred dollars. What do you think you should do? <laughs> no, don't. I'm I'm asking you seriously. Relax well, yourself. You're gonna. Well, all, you, right, all right, all right. Seriously, looking at the chart. I am looking seriously. I'm talking. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, seriously, I'm looking at the chart and I can't see anything that's going to stop this and hold it back. Okay, so based on that... I would run up and let it go over the high, which, oh, I mean, the high on this bar is 265.93, it's nearly 266. Right, I'm estimating at 266. Tomorrow, it's going to be, if it gets there, will be worth 50 cents more than at the high today. I'm estimating conservatively. It could be worth more. It probably will be. It'll be a dollar through the strike, but I'm figuring time value. So I'm estimating that. So based on that, what do you want to do? You risk getting out of this with not as much of a gain as you had at one point today or even now, but still a gain. Unless for The only thing that will ruin this trade is if the market gapped down tomorrow morning, and I'm not saying that that could happen or couldn't happen. I don't think it does, but who, who the heck knows? So if the market gaps down tomorrow morning, which who knows if it could happen or not. It doesn't look like it will, but it could, and you need to know that. If it would, the trade would be ruined. It would be ruined, and you wouldn't. You would either get out break even, or a small gain, or a small loss. Yeah. I don't think the market gaps down huge, even if it gaps down tomorrow. But any gap down through under today would create this messing up the whole entire thing, because then it's not going to look like it's going to get to two sixty five again by Friday. And I wouldn't hold it till Friday unless you're up a lot. But I'm telling yeah. you that if this continues tomorrow, then based on that. You would be up to at fifty cents more, and you'd make forty two hundred dollars. Then, then how would you feel? How would you feel about continuing doing options? How would you feel about continuing into the earnings season with day trading again? Would that make your life enormously better if you could make four thousand dollars in this trade? Yes or no? Yes. So then, what do you want to do? I'll do all it. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I'm saying that you got to know there's a possibility the market could gap down tomorrow but honestly i believe that you should hold the trade you need a really big winner like this you did the right thing adding i think this looks great i don't think that this reverses and again you're taking a chance but all the other things here look very very strong the spy is at the highs you know and the only reason the cues are down is because of apple and yes. i can't find any reason for apple trading down but again apple's so strong it doesn't matter anyways so well, but the spy's the spy's not got over, has it? It's still red today. I know, but what does that have to do with this trade? Well, nothing. I mean, it's obviously a different market, and it's a, a small amount of stocks anyway. In the, in the it doubt. doesn't matter. But it's pennies, pennies, pennies away. I mean, this is like neg negligible pennies. We could gap up tomorrow morning and gap up and make a new high in the gap up tomorrow morning. I mean, again, the only way that we don't get over the high this week in the spy or the diamonds is if we gap yeah. down tomorrow morning or Friday morning. But I think you should try to be out of this trade by Thursday. But I'm glad you added and I'm glad you held it and you turned a small trade into a big trade even if you get out of it today. So you got two decisions here. This is going to go back up to the high. Look, it's heading up there right again right now. You're going to go, what is it up right now? Now you're up more again. What is it up? 
Yeah, I'm uh, I'm up eight ninety five at the minute. So I mean, like I said, nine hundred dollars, price... nine hundred bucks. You yeah. can take it and run, oh. run to the bank with nine hundred dollars. That's a good solid trade. You added, you made a trade that you were up a little into something bigger. Continued. You took my advice. If you had, if you were, if you did this consistently, I'd say take it out today and bang it, bang it, bang it. But I know you need a good win, and I honestly think the chart looks great. But you gotta know, you gotta know, you have to know that well, if you hold well, this, that if you could lose the whole thing, and how are you gonna? How, what do you want to do? And I guess what I'm saying is, you really should have decided this yesterday. But when this trade is good and everything's going, you panic, and you gotta stop doing that. Well, I'm I'm also watching the time and sales, and there's more green than there is red, so which is obviously more positive. The, the, it's it's moving. It's not falling back, is it? I told I, you. You don't. I said stop. I, I said this five minutes ago. Stop said what? panicking. I said, you, well, we can talk. We have time to talk. This isn't going anywhere today. You got all day today to decide. Yes, you got yes, till yes. four o'clock. One does not o'clock. want to lose. One does not want to let the money slip out of one's fingers. No, and, and everybody in the room, I took a survey in the room after I read your email before I closed the room. One person said, hold it. Everybody else said, take it out. So it's up to you. <laughs> it's up yeah. to you. Yes, well, I mean, you could sort of split the difference and say, right, I'll hold it into the close today, couldn't I? What I want you to get out of this and every trade that you do that I'm trying to help you with, like Nike, is that it's about the consistency, unless there's overriding factors that tell you that the trade is good to hold, like it's swoosh. Absolutely. Or like Absolutely. it like it did, like you got the market with you or something that, and but it's hard to say that because this is a market trade. But I'm saying you, you, if you have overriding factors, the problem was in the past, Every trade that was looking good, you basically wanted to hold, and then that was ridiculous because you you shouldn't hold every trade, is what I'm saying. So this looks good. It's run up for two days. It's finally getting the interest now, which it hasn't had. It hasn't had really until it started late yesterday into today. But mm. you know, it's breaking out. It's breaking out. So you know, the only thing that I caution you on is if we gap down tomorrow, which is the only thing that would ruin the trade, the trade will be ruined. And so conservative people would take the trade out with a thousand bucks or more. It looks like it's going to get over the high here now. It's going to get over. It's going to make it here. This is going to be, you're going to be worth yeah. more than 1100 today. There it goes. Yeah. There were, in fact, there were a lot of sales at the bid. Here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, What's I it worth now? How much you up now? Uh, 1495. That's a nice trade. See, look at, look at the size. See, you can trade yes. size fill up. It's just, you have screwed up your head. And then as a result of that, it screwed up the, your trade profits. Like, honest to God, like you can trade sides, but you gotta make the right decision. So this is a test. What are you gonna do? Here's another idea. You could get out of $750 worth of it now, and you could get out of half of it now, and you could own 30 contracts because you have so much up till tomorrow. There's yeah, another I'll, idea. I'll do that. I'll cut, I'll, I'll take the, the safe position and take Well, I'm not saying get out of this right here now. It looks like it's gonna head right up to 265. I'm saying today. <laughs> Today, by five, by four o'clock yes, today. Yes, but yeah. the problem I have is knowing that it's the right time because obviously when something turns, it's too late because the option chain but, reflects that. I know, but don't you understand? You have to get rid of this perfection thing in your head getting yes, out it at the it is perfect a problem, the price. Perfection. You didn't do Baba's trade because you thought you had a shitty price. It wouldn't have yes. mattered. That trade worked. You missed it because you said, well, I have to wait till it pulls back. And you missed a good trade. There was that money. You're not going to get out of the high of this. So get, get wipe that off your head. If this goes up to 266 or 267 or 270, you will not exit there. I can guarantee you that. I'm telling you right now, you're never going to get out of the high and along. You're never going to get in at the low for the price. It's not your job. Your job is to take the good solid trades. This is a good yes. solid trade. And you listened to me yesterday when I said you could be more aggressive. And you did. And I that's did. perfect. But I'm telling you right now, though, I'm still telling you, though, that you're never going to get out of the high. So you have to decide right. what are you happy with. Can you live with yourself if you get out today and make 1400 bucks, and tomorrow you could have made 4000 Because in the past, you haven't. And then the next trade, the next trade, you would have held too long. Like like Nike. Nike, the exit was yesterday. Well, that's, that was that's, good advice. That's it, exactly. I've waited till the following day. It's not followed through the following day. And that's when I've had my fingers burnt. So obviously, the safest thing to but do. But you're trying is to, to look at it every 
same things that show not every chart is the same not every gap is the same not every gap rates the same not every chart is the same you're trying to apply it you're saying well nike broke out then it fell therefore i can't do that with this one or this one or this one no nike chart does not look like this this is a different chart every gap is different every chart is different you're trying to apply the same method and finger pointing it there's different things that rate differently and there's different things happening and that's why i said ask me which i'm, I'm trying to help you here but the point is though that Either way, you shouldn't hold every trade because you're never going to get out at the high. Some trades warrant that, some don't. But your yeah. when your money management should be consistent with with everything else when you're killing them, which I don't think it has. And and and, and either way here, in my professional opinion here, I believe this trade continues. But I don't want you to yell at me if it ends up gapping down tomorrow morning because I can't I can't I can't determine what China's going to do or Trump. So I'm just letting you know, like this, I, I mean, I'm just telling you, this looks fabulous. I, I think this has a one, two, three run up. The only way that I would get out of this full position today, if you want to get out of half, that's your call. The only way to get out of the full position today is if it goes to some sick, crazy number like 266. If this gets over the high today, then for sure get out of the whole thing. But if yes. this actually goes up and this is good here now like i said if you want to get on a half it's up to you i wouldn't exit the whole trade today i really think that it continues but that's your well, it, is, it is but obviously i mean like the profit now it's down to a thousand dollars it's just back down to a thousand dollars again what so, <laughs> say it's down to a thousand you're up a, stop thinking negatively about right. being up you're panicking oh my god i'm up a thousand dollars shit what do i do that doesn't have anything to do with anything you're up a thousand dollars yay yes. i'm up a thousand dollars instead you're panicking oh, oh. But what? But the only the only solution to my situation and where I am at the moment is to say, right, I'm up a thousand dollars. I'll take it, and you take it, you book it, and you know you have a thousand dollars, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. And... But but I also I'm also considering what the chart is telling me, and this is the problem because I've always had this problem. I look at the chart and I think that looks like it's going higher, and yet it doesn't go. Yeah, higher. but sometimes you say that. And you say it, and I've told you this before, you're not that good at reading charts to say that. That's what I'm telling you to ask me. I'm telling you this this chart's higher. So that's okay. that, okay? And I told okay. you yesterday, get out of Nike. This is it, okay? So this, there, okay. Uh, you know, if you don't know, ask me. You were making arbitrary decisions about things, saying this looks good and this looks bad and this looks good. You said Baba was going to do X, Y, Z, and that was ridiculous. That was a good trade, and you missed it. And so, you know, I, I and I'm not saying you should have held Baba. I think Baba was a one, two. But, and, and the fact that that continued, you know, it's neither here nor there. I don't, I don't think anyone should have held that down when it had the drop off when it did. I think that was a one 24 hour trade and I think that was perfect, but that did continue too for the, the third day down. But anyways, uh, you're, you're trying to apply everything to the same thing in the sense that, again, you're, going, you're trying to get out of the high of every trade. It, for, it just, it's impossible. It's just ridiculous. It's not gonna right. happen. Right, so if this pulls back and I'm up 500 profit, it, it, it pulls back so far, would you say, right, kill it today, get out? No, why would you, why, what do you mean? I just got done telling you that any time you get out of this today, you're going to get out with money. What's the problem? What do you, why, there's, what are you going to, why are you panicking? If, it, if, you, if you were, if, the, if it's 358 and you're at $500, would you not take the money? Because that's what I'm saying. You have to decide what you're going to do. This trade today will close before four o'clock with a profitable you will be up. I don't have no idea what you will be up, but you have all day to get out of this trade with money. Whether it's $1,459.22 or $524.62, it's a profitable trade. If you're that worried about it coming down to be worth five, six hundred, then the answer is easy. You're too in much in fear about it not continuing, then get out now and, and stop panicking. I don't want you to sit here all day and panic when you're up money. Do you have any idea how crazy this is? There are, this is why I mentioned you in the class, there are people that lose all the time and they, they panic and with good reason. They're down money all the time. You panic. You're the only person I know that panics when they're up. <laughs> it's like a seriously, seriously, seriously. Yeah, because, because I've lost the money. I know, but, but that's because from poor decisions. <laughs> yeah, that's become poor decisions. You made poor decisions because you're trying to get out always at the high or you don't take something because you think it, it, it has to pull back and you've added to trades that you should not have done. Now, I told you to do this. That's a different story. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, I, 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 what are you going to do? What are you going to do here before I go? 
Well, I am I am sitting here in the trade. It's I'm watching the one minute bar. It's just jumped, just gapped on the one minute bar a little bit. So which obviously indicates strength. So I don't particularly want to kill the trade, do I? Don't kill a good trade. Simple as if that. If this was live TV and had people calling in to give you advice, what do you want to do? We'd have yeah, but, uh, yeah, but yeah, but you won't do that, would you? Because that's just no good, is it? You can't have like people say, "Oh, take it, don't take it." No, you know, it would be hilarious things. to hear people's answers because it's hilarious listening to you whine yes. about being out a thousand dollars. Don't get me wrong, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not whining. I'm just you cautious. are whining. I don't want to lose a profitable you trade. You are looking at this yeah. one minute. You're up a thousand. It's been it's been between six fifty and and fifteen hundred, and you're you're like. You're looking at every second. Every you're like the one minute, the one minute gapped up, the oh, one minute moved, thought, it moved a penny. No, <laughs> Do you understand? No, I'm not looking at every second. I mean, I yes, have the weekly are. chart up on this other screen, and I have that as a target because I can't see anything else that's in its way to stop it going. Okay, up. you said that five times now. So what are you gonna do? I agree with you. I, I'm I'm taking your advice, and I'm going to sit in it, and I'm gonna and I'm going to look at it again. And, five to four and decide if I'm going to take it or not. And if it's up so much money, then I mean, I can't, I, I don't want to let it go over into tomorrow because I think it might be pushing it a little bit and it might, if it doesn't, if it's not in the money, it will lose more. I'm telling you the only way this trade would be a loser tomorrow is if it gapped down. And I don't know if that happens or not, but it's the only way it'll be a loser. Well, that's we're what. in a volatile time at the moment, aren't we, with China, these tariffs. We are, so. that's why I'm saying do what you want. My advice to you is you take it all out today in a big run-up. If you get it, you could. Or you hold the whole thing into tomorrow because the chart looks great, knowing that you could make over four grand or more, and you're okay with the amount you risk if the whole trade goes bust, which you should be taking it anyways. Or you get out half today with the money, protect yourself, and let the rest run up, which means you'd make about two grand in the other half, and that would still be a good trade. And so then you'd make seven fifty plus you two, you'd make twenty seven hundred dollars. So how much is the difference between forty two and twenty seven hundred? Because if this runs but, up and you get out of half, it's seven fifty. And then you know, if it maybe, runs, I, mean, I, get, I go for the risk. I would, I would literally go for the risk if it's if it's going to go for it. I mean, I, I stand to lose eighteen hundred dollars if it if it all goes on me. So that's how much I've got on the table. And so, what did you con what conclusion did you come to? Uh, I'm going to hold it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm I'm not telling you this because I want you to do this in every trade. You need to know that. I said yesterday was the exit on Nike. You need to know that not every trade you shouldn't hold and stop trying to get out of the high. I'm just seeing this here and I'm saying this is a more this is more leg to go, and people are buying it today. So there's no reason to think it won't continue unless some travesty or news happens overnight, which certainly could. Let me just look here and see what economic data is out tomorrow morning. <clears throat> Thursday. Thursday morning's a bunch of stuff. Philly Fed, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So the low, low stuff tomorrow morning, nothing on Friday. So I don't see any, any, anything that would, that would move the market in either direction as far as that goes. It would just really be tariff news. Right. right. Yeah. Yes. So I will, I'll, I'll hold it. I'm saying I think you should watch this today, check it, but don't panic because you're up. You've got all day today to decide to get out of a positive if you want. Uh, $1,500 is a great trade. If you think it may make a big difference to go into earnings season with a big profitable trade like this, that will help you day trade and do more options and really feel like you're getting back on track here before earnings season in a positive direction, then I think it's worth you holding it because it would be a big trade. It, it could be over five grand. You got to, you I mean, honestly, I'm saying 266, but if we get anywhere near that, we're going to go over the high. And that could happen in two days. It's not out of the water that the, that it's not completely ridiculous to think that this could go to 267, 268. It's going to, it's going to go to, it's going to go to 270. I said that three weeks ago in Barney. I, I, I was right. So you can yes. see here now this is going. And it could happen very quickly because the, the more that it goes, the more interest will come in. So the buying really started to get, take hold of the option chain today. That's a good sign. That's a good sign, I'm saying. It's a good sign for even the one that expires on Friday. Yes. Yes, it has. Yes, okay. I'm glad you took my advice and added a little bit more. Watch it. I'm around here. If you want to email me, uh, you know, watch it.
Right. Okay. Thank you, Melissa. All right. We'll talk again soon. Yes. Thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye.